I took a look at that. I thought they had the whole engine out of it. It's still back in there somewhere. But as usual, they got three guys on this thing right away. Not wasting any time. They got some new bushings going in both sides of that thing. Are they doing it correctly, honey? Well, there was a little something wrong in the front end of the old multi-cab here. So I took it to a specialist here in Tagbilaran City. And it has snowballed into uh, well, fixing some goofy part and uh, it's going to be uh, 11,000 pesos, something like that. Well, it's, it's one of these things. These are two, uh, two old ones. I'm going to put one of these old ones on there. That's uh, 9,500 for that, and then, uh, I don't know, 2,000 because of the, uh, the fan motor now has to be changed to clear the new whatever that thing is on there. Yeah, so what happened was uh, a couple months ago, I was pulling into the, uh, the house up in the province there, Jovi's parents' house and I uh, ran over a piece of uh, concrete that was laying there and it went up under the front end and did some damage and the thing has never been the same since then. I've taken it back to uh, where I bought it a couple times and they fiddled around with it and never did get it quite right. So we're gonna see how these guys do with it. I took a look at that. I thought they had the whole engine out of it. It's still back in there somewhere. But as usual, they got three guys on this thing right away. Not wasting any time. They got some new bushings going in both sides of that thing. Where the spline goes in. We're going to put uh, two liters of oil in there. Two and a half, he said. Are they doing it correctly, honey? <laughs> well, I finally found out what she's using me for. I'm just a, a hot spot to her. That's all I, I am. No <laughs> no I need the oil. You, oil. Poor, you poor thing. I have no data. <laughs> okay, she she's got her hot spot, so she's she's satiated. I am quiet now. Later. <laughs> Check your timeline, honey. See how many views you have. No, Check I, your TikTok. No, I checked the. Instagram for 90 Day Fiancé. Instagram. The 90 Day Fiancé Instagram. Okay. All right. Okay, as we dig deeper into the bowels of the multi-cab, we're finding more problems. Now we got a bushing. Yes. Yeah, black girl, sir. Yeah. What? What's your name? What is your it's channel? It's called Ta off, off the Deep End with Jeff and Mike. I scrape you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to clean the one. Clean it? Oh, clean. Yeah. We out this one and we have to change this one. Mm. Yeah. The new grass. Huh? Yeah. And we have a, up um, this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I figure on this job here, I'm up to about 12,000 pesos. Now, after you've been over here about a year and a half like I have, a uh, bill like that will give you a heart attack. Uh, but when it comes uh, right down to it, it's only about $218. Now in the United States, if they had to strip your car down to this level and put a, even if it was a rebuilt or a used part in there, uh, I mean, it would, there's no way you'd get out for less than 800, 1,000 at least probably, right? Now I had a friend of mine a long time ago that was a mechanic and he said that the best thing to do if a uh, part doesn't move is just to beat it with a hammer. Here's my new professionally greased CV joints, cleaned and greased. They say that they're still in good shape. Thank 
look at? Well, that new part, that's the old one right there. But that new part has been in and out. It's been in and out at least three times now. Every time it comes out, it's like a, a different little bushing or something gets, needs to get changed out and fit it back in there. I'm hoping this is the last time. Okay, it's a good sign the CV axles are going in, meaning that the differential or whatever that is uh, has stayed up in there this time. Okay, there's all the different types of multi cabs. Well, if I had anywhere to go from here, I came to the right spot, I'll tell you that much. This is the busiest bus terminal here, Island City Mall in Tag Balarn City. the kind that goes to the airport in Pangmao. Okay, the diff oil is going in. Okay, well this is a good sign. The wheel is going back on there. Okay, we're starting it. It's up on the rack still. Chopping off the coolant. I think that the front end of this thing goes back together pretty quick here. We've been hanging around here since about 11.30 and it's uh, five o'clock now. But if this fixes it, I'll be happy. I will say the best thing about this vehicle is that it does run good. We just took it over for the smog test and uh, passed with no problems over there. So we're renewing the uh, insurance and the registration. We had to get the smog test that's yearly over here. So what we did uh, earlier today, as I said, we took it over for the smog test and as part of that getting the registration, now they charge you uh, 850 pesos for a smog test and then the uh, insurance for the year is 3,750 pesos. I'll tell you how much that is in dollars, but I can tell you that uh, it had gone up massively before I left on my 2018 Silverado. Okay, now they say I need a new tensioner bearing, which uh, wouldn't bother me except uh, I had another one of those put on about 10 months ago so they're trying to tell me they didn't put a new one on there but uh, I don't know I don't know what to think but anyways I'm going to spend the 1700 and have a new tensioner bearing put on there close this place down it's after five o'clock we're on the overtime clock now we need to bring this one yeah <laughs> she wants to use the old part as a paperweight Okay, so the uh, the total damage on this was uh, 16,000 pesos. We got a little discount to round it down there. Uh, that comes out to about $290 for all that uh, fine craftsmanship. Mana? 
test drive. Test <laughs> drive. All right, we're taking a test drive here. To make sure that it's going to handle it right. <laughs> oh, so far, it seems pretty good. Runs good, don't it? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, I like it so far. Yeah. Feels better from the passenger seat, anyways. I'll tell you that much. Now, what would you rather have? Would you rather have a uh, an old multi cab or a new Hilux? What's better? A new Hilux. New Hilux. <laughs> the multi cab is surplus. <laughs> yeah, surplus. Yeah, that's that's right. Japan. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, what, what was the name of that part that you guys replaced? Uh, Juan, Grand Carrier, Front Carrier. Front four, Carrier? Four, oh, four-wheel drive. Front four-wheel drive carrier. Carrier. Oh, okay. Okay, they're jammed up here, but there's no mercy getting them through these guys. Especially these guys here. Those guys drive crazy, right? The UV Express. Mm. Thanks, guy. Thank you. Rush hour. Yes. All right. Well, as you can tell, we do have a little problem with the uh, belt squealing after yesterday's uh, surgery on the old multi-cab. So we're gonna go back there and have them tighten that belt up. Uh, but the good news is, is that uh, all of the problems uh, that I had with the front end there and the steering uh, are all gone and it's uh, riding like brand new. Okay, these guys are all over it again. Checking to make sure that the four wheel drive is functioning. The indicator light is not working at the very least to fix the squeaking. Okay, so we just discovered that the four-wheel drive is not engaging here. Always a very bad sign when you have a four-wheel drive carrier unit installed. Okay, well, they say that they have found the problem. There's a little uh, control box on the side of that new carrier unit that we put in there that's incompatible with the, uh, uh, with the new carrier that we put in there. So we need to get a control box, a new one from Cebu, and that's going to cost me another 3500 And for now, they're going to put a toggle switch in there so that I at least have the four-wheel drive working. I'm jealous. Just kiss me. 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 Oh, uh, no problem, Mike. Let's go. Okay, Mike, just put it over there. I thought we were lifting it together. Well, I have my good clothes on, so I need you to do it. Well, I have my good clothes on, too. <sighs> oh. 
what is this thing anyways? It's the 4x4 gearbox for the front axle. So how much did this cost you? Well, by the time it's all said and done, it's going to cost me about 20,000 pesos. 20,000 pesos? Are you out of your mind? That's almost $360 at the current exchange rate of 55.65. Why don't you just buy a new Hilux? Well, Mike, I can't buy a new Hilux for the same reason I can't buy a new Ferrari. But you can't drive a Ferrari in the Philippines. There's not enough ground clearance. No, Mike, I can't buy a new Hilux because a new Hilux is 2,192,000 pesos, okay? Well, that's not bad. That's only $39,389. Okay, Mike, you're such a genius. If I have $4,732 to my name, how much more money do I need to buy the Hilux? That's $34,657. Okay, now do you see the problem? <sighs> okay, Mike, just stick with the brain work, okay? I'll take care of it. Okay. Do I still get a bear?